Hi, I'm Michael Stewart with Phototech.com. I'm here at Studio 76 in Herndon, Virginia with Joshua Lovers. Joshua has come to our photography studio to show us the newest version of ImageNest, ImageNest 3.0. It's a Mac multi-image layout tool. ImageNest works on all printers because it utilizes the print driver for output. It also reduces paper use and expense, and layouts can be saved as PDFs as well. There are five versions of ImageNest. There's desktop, which is for 13-inch and smaller printers. There's small for 17-inch printers. There's medium for 24-inch printers. There's large and extra large for 44 and 64-inch printers, respectively. Joshua has generously offered a 10% discount if you use the link on phototech.com. To take advantage of the 10% discount, just look for that link at foto-tech.com. Joshua, thanks for coming in to the studio to show us ImageNest 3.0. How are you doing with ImageNest 3.0? We're doing great, Mike. You know, all the features in 3.0 were things that were specifically asked for by our user base. So we're pretty dedicated to trying to innovate to come up with new features and to keep our people happy. And the best thing about ImageNest 3.0 is it's a 100% free update. All of our updates to our, our product are free. You won't get that promise from a lot of developers. You guys are really pumping out the new features and updates. So your free upgrades policy is amazing. Can you tell us why we would use ImageNest for layout instead of Photoshop or Lightroom? Well. What ImageNest does, which is unique and is very different from, say, a Photoshop or a Lightroom or anything that's traditionally a photo editor, is that it opens up to a page layout rather than just your images. So it's very quick and very easy to put lots of images on a single page. You can size them. You can move them around. You can snap them to grid. Anything that you need to do to make a good layout, to use all of the paper that you have, is what ImageNest is for. I almost never print out a Photoshop because layout and workflow is so slow, but I do print out a Lightroom on my Windows machines. Lightroom's a great tool, but all of the images you want to print have to be in the same catalog, and it's missing some of the key features that ImageNest has. On my Mac, I use Lightroom to edit, but I make most of my prints using ImageNest. ImageNest saves me a lot of paper. I have more options, better soft proofing, and it's a faster workflow. One major concern for me with printing from Lightroom is that I could be printing an adjusted version of my file. When I'm proofing files that will be delivered to a client or updated, I don't want to see edits that are only in the Lightroom database and not the actual file. I also like the way ImageNest allows me to add text. Can you talk about the text features in ImageNest? Sure, you know, one of the things uh, our customers told us in version one and in version two was they would really love to be able to put a custom comment or a file name or the date it was made or the date it was printed. All of these different types of metadata are already in your file. So we can pull them out of your file and place them above your image, below your image, to the left of your image, or to the right. You can choose your font, you can choose a color, you can choose a background. So your creative process and what you want to do, we give you the flexibility to do. Those caption and border options are really useful. Can you tell us about uh, the color management in ImageNest? Well, fortunately, I actually came from a, almost a pure color management background. So when we, before we even started programming, we took careful consideration into what kinds of color management a user would need. You know, first of all, especially with photographers, we recognize embedded profiles. So if you've embedded a profile it, when shooting your image or in an in a image editor, we will recognize it and use it. We also allow users to select their output profile so they can soft proof on the screen. So they're seeing exactly what will come out of their printer on their screen. How do you handle multiple files with different color profiles? Like, for example, if I want to print a JPEG that's an sRGB on the same page as a DNG file and like a CMYK TIFF file? Well, that's, that's a great question. You know, we, if we have different profiles, we respect all of the different embedded profiles. Since we're independent of an input space, we can map your JPEG with Adobe 1998 to your output profile or 
your CMYK image with Swap V2 embedded in it. It doesn't matter. We can recognize each one as an individual image and they will be mapped according to your output profile. I found the ability to print DNG files very useful. Most of my image archives are now DNGs and ImageNest utilizes the corrected full-size JPEG that's embedded in there to make prints. Let's look at the new features we've been playing with today. What have you done to ImageNest for this release? You know, one of the first things that we've done is application color management. You can color manage in your application just like people are used to doing in Photoshop or in Lightroom or in Aperture or any of those other programs. So that makes it easier to do soft proofing and to get oh, that WYSIWYG feel. What you see is what you get. Actually, I think your color management background has really helped you here. Your soft proofing is easier than Photoshop and Lightroom really doesn't have soft proofing at all. What else have you done? Another thing, we have a 64-bit mode. So we were programmed natively as a 64-bit program, but one of the problems we ran into was so many print drivers would not work with 64-bit programs. Now, Mac OS X 10.6 has gotten more popular. All the drivers have been updated to use 64-bit. So we're running in our native mode, which is 64-bit, much faster, much more memory, much cleaner. Yeah, big time speed improvement with the 64-bit processing and also the GPU processing. Those modern graphics cards have lots of cores and can process images much faster than the CPUs. Your programmers have really done a nice job utilizing those graphics processors. What else is new? New layout modes. We have a manual method. Previously, we automatically fitted everything, and we still do that. That automatically does all your rotation, all your moving your file around on the page to squeeze every single millimeter out of that piece of paper. But lots of people wanted to make just kind of collages. They wanted extra space, and our algorithm was trying to maximize space, and they didn't want that. So we put in a manual mode, which allows people to move images around individually to their liking. Um, rotation. Prior, since we automatically rotated everything, we didn't need a rotation feature, but now with a manual mode, we added in a feature that will allow a user to rotate a file just for aesthetics. Yeah, the manual layout mode is definitely the biggest new feature, in my opinion. Sometimes I need to optimize my layout to save paper, and ImageNest does that automatically, but sometimes I want to move the images around manually until they look good. What other new layout features are there? Image alignment grid with Snap2 feature. That's a great new feature where you can custom make your own grid for your vertical and horizontal, and images will align to it. So it makes moving things around manually very easy and very, very accurate. Another thing we did was image overlapping. Um, if someone really wants to squeeze every single millimeter out of it and doesn't mind clipping an image a little bit, you can place an image above or behind another image and so there is virtually no white space when using image overlapping. We added in cut, copy, and paste. Kind of simple thing that was missing. Lots of users just wanted to click Apple C, Apple V, put another copy of the image. New cut mark styles. We added in additional cut marks uh, due to user requests. Some people wanted outward facing cut marks, so we redid our geometry and made cut marks that were out facing to align with their current cutters. Obviously, ImageNest 3.0 was a huge release for you guys. What are your developers working on now? Well, one of the things that we're currently doing and hope to have out in the next two months is the ability for people to take a layout and write it out to a JPEG or a TIFF. Uh, lots of users have asked for this because they would like to use ImageNest to do layout and then produce a JPEG or a TIFF to send to their photo lab. It would be convenient to be able to save JPEGs and TIFFs. I save a lot of my layouts as PDFs and then later convert them if necessary. I also found that I can use these as web pages, which is a really cool little trick. Lay out your images the way you want in ImageNest and then be able to make a web page out of it. Thanks for sharing with us and thank you for giving our viewers a 10% discount. Till next time, may all your prints be beautiful and bring you much joy. This is Michael Stewart for Phototech.com.